You must be really pleased with the effort put in by the team today. You seem to have control throughout the game uh, with some great scrums and great attacking play. Yeah, it was a, it was a really mature, professional performance. Uh, the tempo that we played with, the intensity was brilliant. Um, so uh, very pleasing. With 11 tries scored and one conceded, which is the better one, the scoring or preventing conceding tries? To, to be honest, I think we'd be we'd be disappointed that we've conceded. Um, you know, but in in attack we look good. Uh, the last few weeks things haven't quite clicked, but today we we we, we did everything we were asked. Uh, and yeah, we asked for a mature performance, and the boys just took the time, and that's why that's why we've come away with 11 tries. Anything in particular you felt you did particularly well today? Just our speed of play, you know, our tempo, um, speed of play at the breakdown. You know, looking to target two seconds, a breakdown. Um, the boys did it, and they struggled with it. And there seemed to be a great crowd on the sideline for the game. It was brilliant, a great, great, uh, you know, cracking day for rugby. Um, plenty of sun cream for me, so um, but no, it was, it was great to see lots of people here. And actually, nice to be be playing at home. Yeah, so. I think it's I think it's good for the for the twos boys especially to to get a crowd like that because you know quite often everyone's supporting the ones. So to get a crowd here and put on the display like that, the boys should be proud. It was, it was a good, good day for the club. And looking more generally at the season, you've been playing new teams so far, but you've got a few familiar fixtures coming up with Westcombe and Sig Cup twos. Looking forward to them. Sadly, I won't be taking part next week, but uh, a bit of a hamstring problem. But we know what we're going to expect there. You know, we, we play them year in, year out. We've played them for the last five years, and we've got to grips with that. Actually, the challenge for us is adapting to the uh, sort of game that they play at this level, maybe tighter, slower pace, whereas Western Sea Cup tends to play a bit more structured like us, so we know what's coming there and we're ready for it. Hashtag Kernel out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and finally, I imagine being in a league structure this year has really added a new motivation for the team. Is that right? Definitely. I think yeah, it, it, it offers something for the boys who are training Tuesday, Thursday, putting the names in the hat. And you know, there's there's lads here that week in, week out, put, putting in the performances to be knocking on the door of the ones. Definitely. Uh, and that's all you can ask from a squad. You know, strength in depth and playing good rugby every Saturday, which is which at the moment is what we're doing. The, the league now. When we're playing oppositions, it matters to them. You know, they're trying to pick up bonus points whether they're losing or winning, or they're trying to pick up points for their league positions. Last year, the league was structured slightly differently, and you'd get teams at the bottom falling away and maybe not chasing the pack as hard. Whereas here, they're really biting and making more of a challenge. Uh, just, just to echo the points, it, it's vital. You know, guys want to be playing first team rugby. Um, and you need to be able to provide a platform for those guys that aren't quite in the first team at the moment to be competing and showing what they can do so they, knock, they can knock on the door and get an opportunity. Um, it's brilliant that we're in this league, we want to win it. Um, you know, and we've made a good start so far this season. Great, well, we're played. Cheers, right. thank you.